number one. You grew up hoping that the giant robot battles of science fiction would become real, and we did too. That dream is one year away. Meet the Mark II, America's first fully functional giant piloted robot. Does the movie and TV robot fantasies are about to become reality? A U.S. robotics company challenged a Japanese firm to a duel of giant robots. Japan said, bring it on. Duel Japan's on and it's time to throw down. We're going to need your help to upgrade the Mark II, put on the fight the world's been waiting for, and make history. The Mark II packs a lot of firepower, but right now she's slow, top heavy, rusty, and not equipped for melee combat. The upgraded Mark II will be the definition of an American robot. She'll be five times faster and more powerful, self-balancing and armored for hand-to-hand -hand combat. Your childhood dreams have arrived. Hear them knocking? Buy a t-shirt and open the door. Now let's meet the Patriots who've signed up to be on Team USA. My name is Grant Imahara, and for the better part of a decade, I was a Mythbuster. I'm Trey Roski. And I'm Greg Munson, and we are the creators of BattleBots. My name is Michael Howe, and I'm president of Howe & Howe Technologies. Hi, I'm Jerry from Team IHMC Robotics. And I'm Doug. Hi, I'm Dave Labrick. Hi, my name is Fawn Davis, owner of Fawn Co. Hi, I'm Carl Bass, I'm CEO of Autodesk. These old treads got no suspension and top out at 2.5 miles per hour. How and How Technologies has something to say about that. We developed the world's most advanced track vehicle. We are excited to be a part of the Megabot Challenge. The Mark II is pretty top heavy, and right now these legs are controlled by a couple of levers. We need to be able to keep our balance when we take a punch. That's where IHMC comes in. We have decades of experience with dynamic balancing robots. When we're done with the Mark II, it's gonna float like a butterfly and sting like a charging rhinoceros. We're gonna need more than this racing harness to keep us alive. NASA has experience with that. I've worked on every robotic system to ever drive on the surface of Mars. We're looking at how we might use NASA technology to help keep these guys safe when we take a punch. This is America's first giant combat robot. She needs a fresh set of armor plates and a sweet paint job so we can make our country proud. And that's where Fonco has our back. I've been working in the motion picture industry for over 25 years on series like Star Wars, Matrix, Terminator. Now, we're going to make the Megabot look like something straight out of the Hollywood blockbuster. We're going to need the right tools to build this robot, and Autodesk has us covered. We've been working with the Megabots guys since the beginning. We're going to make sure they have all the hardware and software they need to take on Japan. Finally, we have some killer advisors who are helping make this dream an epic reality. Seeing giant fighting robots has always been a personal dream of mine, which is why I'm going to do everything possible to help make this happen. By supporting this competition, not only will you be helping America win this challenge, but you're going to be moving the entire field of robotics forward. America, this is your robot. It's time to kick in and help support this cause. Support Team USA. Buy your Megabots gear, come see the robot in person, or even suit up to pilot this beast. After this video is over, you have a choice. Watch another cat video on YouTube, or make your childhood dreams come true. What's it going to be? Number two. So the general goal of our lab is to understand the locomotion aspect of animals. And recently we are focusing on quadruped, four-legged animals. And we try to understand how how they efficiently uh, run on the field and nature so that we can take that inspiration and then use in our engineering world. So for example, we can create a prosthetic legs out of that technology and, or, or it can even make a new transportation replacing cars so that you don't need a road in, the, in our world. Chira is the fastest uh, four-legged animal in the world and then we would like to make our robot run fast like a Chira. When we started to build our robot, we started to look at Chira's motion and applied its principles to our mechanical version of Chira. Currently, our robot Chita K 
can run up to 10 miles per hour and jump over 33 centimeter high obstacle. So previously, uh, most legged robots are powered by internal combustion engine and then hydraulic transmission. And yeah, those are very noisy and very inefficient. But people believe that uh, internal combustion engine and hydraulics are only way to make a uh, leg robot runs and uh, support itself. People believe that electric motors are not powerful enough. So this is the first time we show that electrically powered robot can run and jump over a foot height obstacles. In order to build a dynamic robot like a Chira, we had to develop everything on the robot, including motors, control system, and control algorithms because previous robot technology is focused on controlling static motion of the robot. I think this is a really exciting future where robot can be uh, quiet and efficient and also powerful and then we might exceed the muscles uh, uh, performance in the future. Number three. Number four. Your house. This is your car. This is your toothbrush. These are your things. But these are the things that matter. And somewhere in between is this guy. Introducing Jibo, the world's first family robot. Say hi, Jibo. Hi, Jibo. <laughs> Jibo helps everyone out throughout their day. He's the world's best cameraman. By intelligently tracking the action around him, he can independently take video and photos so that you can put down your camera and be a part of the scene. 
he's a hands-free helper. You can talk to him, and he'll talk to you back, so you don't have to skip a beat. Excuse me, Anne? Yes, Jibo. Melissa, just sent a reminder that she's picking you up in half an hour to go grocery shopping. Thanks, Jibo. He's an entertainer and educator. Through interactive applications, Jibo can teach. Let me in, or else I'll... Ha! And I'll... Ha! And I'll blow your house in! <laughs> hey, where'd you go? There you are. <laughs> He's the closest thing to a real-life teleportation device. He can turn and look at whoever you want with a simple tap of your finger. Check out my turkey dinner, Mom. I wish you wouldn't eat that. Hey, they make turkey pizza? I want turkey pizza. <laughs> and he's a platform, so his skills keep expanding. He'll be able to connect to your home. Welcome home, Eric. Hey, buddy. Can you order some takeout for me? Sure thing. Chinese, as usual? You know me so well. And even be a great wingman. You have a voice message from Ashley. Want to hear it? Absolutely. Call me when you're home. Better make that takeoff for two, Jibo. We've dreamt of it for years, and now he's finally here. And he's not just an aluminum shell, nor is he just a three-axis motor system. He's not even just a connected device. He's one of the family. <laughs> Number five. Okay, let's come back away from 5-1 or they're going to eliminate down there today. 